Hello student, welcome in the classes of data manipulation and analysis. In concept of database, today we learn some components of ER diagram, entity relationship diagram or entity relationship model. The component of entity relationship model include the entities, attributes and the relationship. We learn already entities and attributes. So today we learn the relationship, the relation between the entities and the relation between the entities and attributes. So let us learn the relationship of ER diagram. Now we already learned the relationship is represented by the diamond shape. In ER diagram, if you want to represent the relationship between two entities, then this diamond shape is used. See over here. This diamond shape is used to represent the relationship between two entities. The teacher is one entity and the subject is one entity. So that two entities are related each other with this relationship. So teacher teaches the subject. Which kind of relationship is that? Teaches. So teacher teaches the subject. So this represent, this diamond box represent the relationship between two entities. Now, there are the three degree of the relationship. Three different types of relationship are there. The degree of the relationship is the number of entity types that participate in the relationship. So, the most common relationship in the ER diagram or ER model are first the binary relationship, unary relationship and ternary relationship. So, binary is the name suggests that binary means two. So, the binary relationship is considered two entities participate and the relationship like that contain the two entities always. So, over here, I already told you that teacher teaches the subject. So, over here, two entities are there and two entities are related with the one relationship. So, this is a binary relationship. Then unary relationship. So in the unary relationship only one entities are there and the entities are participate in the relationship with the same entities not another entity. Eki entity ko relationship represent karega. So it's like there is a subject. Subject is a one entity and there is a re relationship prerequisite. So it is a one entities and the one relationship. So entities one hai or relationship be one hai. So that is a unary relationship. In that when both the participants in the relationship are the same entity. So that is a unary relationship. Normally in the ER diagram we follow binary relationship. Now the third one that is a ternary relationship. Ternary that means a three entities binary that is contain two entities unary that contain one entities and ternary that contain three different entity with one relationship so a ternary relationship is when three entities participate in a single relationship so see over here there is a three entities one is the course one is the teacher and one is the subject so that three entities are related with each other. Course is related with the subject. Teacher is related with the course as well as subject. So this relationship represents CST that is course, subject and teacher. So you can give the relationship like that. So there are three different types of relationship. Binary, unary and ternary. Binary contain two entities. Unary contain only a single entity and ternary contain three entity which contain only one relationship between them. There are three types of relationship, three degree of relationship. Now the types, different types of relationship are there or you can say it is a mapping cardinalities of the ER diagram, very important question. Mapping cardinalities or types of relationship. There are four different types of relationship are there. Relationship 
is one to one relationship then one to many relationship then many to one relationship and many to many relationship there are four different types of relationship or four mapping cardinalities are that so what is a mapping cardinality mapping cardinality means it express the number of entities to which another entities can be associated via a relationship one entity dusri entity se kaise relate karta hai wo show karne ke liye mapping cardinalities ka use hua hai if it is a one to one so it is represent like there is a one entity over here one entity they both are related with the one single relationship and one to one that's why over here represent one the dash line this is a dash line represent one to one relationship like that so over here simple example the person and the passport person is a one entity passport is another entity so you people already know that the person has exactly one passport ek se zyada passport ek person ka kabhi ban sakta hai no it's not possible so when two entities like person and passport so that relationship is always one to one one person has one passport like that same way one to one relationship like each and every student has one roll number हर एक स्टूडेंट के पास अपना एक रोल नंबर होगा कोई भी स्टूडेंट को एक से ज्यादा रोल नंबर दिया जाता है नो इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल सेम वे द एनरोलमेंट नंबर ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वन स्टूडेंट हैज एग्जैक्टली वन एनरोलमेंट नंबर सो द स्टूडेंट इज द वन एंटिटी एंड एनरोलमेंट इज द वन एंटिटी सो द स्टूडेंट एंड एनरोलमेंट दे बोथ आर रिलेटेड विद द वन टू वन रिलेशनशिप like that exactly one hi hona chahiye one person has one aadhar card like that one person has one voter id like that so this are one to one relationship now next relationship is one to many there is a single instance of entities associated with more than one instance of another entity which is known as one to many relationship if here over here one then it is represent one relationship over here and that means it represent many relationship fine so one is represent for one and is represent for many so over here this one entity is related or associated with more than one instance of another entity so that is a one to many relationship see over here the example we have a two entities one is the customer and one is the order so always it is possible one customer place more than one order yes so there is a one and there is a many one customer place many order Yes, it is possible one customer place many order. Yes, same way one to many. Some another example is one students have more than one contact number. It is possible. Yes, so the student and the contact number related with one to many relationship. One student have many contact number. Then next relationship that is many to one. So over here. when more than one instance of the entity is associated with single instance of another entity it is called many to one so see over here this is a many and this is a one so the example of many to one relationship that is a many instance of one entity is associated with the single instance of another entity so over here the example student is the one entity project is another entity so many student work on single project it is possible yes 
बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट मिलके एक प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे हैं सो दैट इज मैनी स्टूडेंट वर्क ऑन वन प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप मैनी टू वन मैनी स्टूडेंट वन प्रोजेक्ट लाइक दैट मैनी स्टूडेंट वन क्लास मैनी स्टूडेंट वन टीचर लाइक दैट सो दिस इज अ मैनी टू वन रिलेशनशिप नाउ द नेक्स्ट रिलेशनशिप दैट इज मैनी टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप नाउ मैनी टू मैनी रिलेशनशिप मीन्स मोर देन वन इंस्टेंस ऑफ एन एंटिटी इज एसोसिएटेड विथ मोर देन वन इंस्टेंस ऑफ अनदर एंटिटी सो मैनी टू मैनी रिप्रेजेंट लाइक दैट ओवर हियर फाइन सो द एग्जाम्पल इज लाइक दैट स्टूडेंट इज द वन एंटिटी प्रोजेक्ट इज द वन एंटिटी many student assign many project it is possible yes it is also possible many student assign many project so this is the many to many relationship so there are four different types of relationship or it is known as a mapping cardinality which is express the number of entities associated with the singles or multiple instance of another entity so there is a one to one relationship with represent over here then one to many relationship one and n for many then many to one relationship that is like that and many to many relationship this is many to many relationship so four types of relationship or mapping cardinalities now it is represent like over here the entities of a and entities of b the single instance of entities a associated with the single instance of entities b so this is a example of one to one relationship the single instance of entity a and the single instance of entity b is related with each other this is the one to one relationship now over here many instance of a entities and many instance of b entities so over here the a1 is connected with b1 and b2 so the one instance of entities a connected with many instance of entities b so this is one to many relationship the one instance of entity a related with the many instance of entity b so that is a one to many relationship now next is like that over here the instance of entity a and instance of entity b so over here a1 is connected with b1 same way a2 is also connected with b1 so the many instance of entity a is connected with the single instance of entity b so this is many to one relationship over here a4 is connected with b3 a5 is also connected with b3 so many instance of entity a is connected with the single instance of entity b so this is represent many to one relationship same way many to many over here the several instance of entity b and several instance of entity a and b so like that a1 is connected with b1 a1 is also connected with b2 same way a2 is connected with b1 a2 is also connected with somewhere else nahi a1 is connected with b1 okay so over here the many instance of entity a is connected with the many instance of entity b so this represent many to many relationship fine all of you i hope you understand this one to one one to many many to many and many to one relationship it is known as a mapping cardinalities of entity relationship model entity relationship diagram fine all of you thank you